What's up guys and welcome back to 2 Minute Tutorials, today's focus is the Romanian deadlift. This exercise is going to target all parts of your hamstrings with some emphasis on your lower back. Now there's a few different ways to perform this depending on which piece of equipment you use, however in this video I'm going to be demonstrating with a barbell. Nonetheless, each variation utilizes the exact same technique, so just use what's available for you. Once you've done that, it's time to initiate the setup. First, approach the barbell with your feet shoulder width apart, pointing your toes slightly outwards and placing your midfoot directly underneath. Then, grip the bar firmly in the palm of your hands just outside your thighs with your thumbs wrapped around. From here, push your knees forward and lift your chest up to lower your hips and straighten out your back. Then, deadlift the weight up, keeping your back straight and the bar close to your legs, then fully extend your hips and squeeze your glutes to reach the top. The starting position should look something like this, where your chest is up, your back is tight, and the bar is directly over your midfoot. Then, begin the descent by hinging your hips back and slightly bending your knees without pushing them forward. Keep your back straight and your lats tucked in, and lower the bar in a straight line directly over your midfoot. Really feel the tension in your hamstrings and go as far down as you can without rounding your back. For most people, this occurs when the bar reaches your mid shin, but don't be afraid to go further if you can maintain a neutral spine. At the bottom, your eyes should be pointed downward, your back should be straight, and your legs should be slightly bent back with your shins perpendicular to the ground. From here, begin the ascent by contracting your glutes and extending your hips forward. Drive the bar up in a straight line directly over your midfoot and keep your back straight the entire time. Squeeze your glutes at the top without hyperextending your hips and get back into the starting position for the next rep. Some things to avoid are pushing your knees forward, letting your hips fall, and rounding your lower back. To prevent this, make sure to maintain a neutral spine and control the weight with your hamstrings. To incorporate this into your routine, I recommend adding it to your leg day in addition to another isolation exercise for your hamstrings. Choose a moderately heavy weight for 3-4 to four sets of anywhere from 8-12 to 12 reps. That's it for this tutorial, feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed, comment what you want to see next, and subscribe for more! Thank you.